Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. It is the next day. Um, thank you very much to my family for helping me out yesterday with loading up the trash. Uh, kids earned a few bucks off of old dad. <laughs> and we got uh, majority of that dumpster filled. I am going to focus today uh, while I'm over at that house on just getting as much in that dumpster as I possibly can and getting it out of there before the weekend because um, I don't want to leave that as an eyesore for the neighborhood and uh, for safety's sake it's best to get it out because sometimes people are enticed to go climb inside of a dumpster and it's just not very safe. Uh, there's a lot of pokey, sharp and nasty things that are in there. Uh, we don't want that kicking around. So uh, I'm going to work as long as it takes today to get that dumpster filled up and as soon as it is um, then I can actually start thinking about uh, donation. Saturday actually this weekend um, is the day that anything that's usable uh, that is going to be donated we are going to drop off to some families in need um, that uh, are in need of furniture and clothing and things like that so we're going to load up our trailer on Saturday with the kids and uh, do a big donation uh, and help some families out uh, there is a lot of good furniture that's usable upstairs um, but I do have to keep a few things back the antique kind of stuff uh, for the most part, we'll try and sell it at an auction sale uh, just to recoup some of the costs for buying this property. But it should be an interesting day, and I'm looking forward to getting the, that dumpster filled up and the rooms cleared up a little bit more. So uh, back to it I go. Okay, I am uh, back in the basement. I've been trying to set aside things that were good shape or resellable off to the side. We've got boxes of actually decent china. It's just in the most random of places. Found this. Oh, there's some Hummel figurines. I think, oh, that's actually not Hummel, but that's still kind of cool. But there were Hummel figurines upstairs. A little RCA Victor portable radio, transistor radio. Kind of a neat thing. And I've been bagging up garbage. Again, as I attempt to... Uh, get this house cleared out. And to give you an idea of this lower layer, this is what I'm dealing with. These uh, Reeboks have definitely seen better days. A lot of the stuff on the ground is just absolute garbage. Um, but, you know, finding the occasional thing uh, makes it all worthwhile. There's a box for one of those lamps upstairs. 60 bucks. What it cost new. Let's make sure there's nothing in this box. Oh, there's a little picture in there. Tiny bit terrifying. <laughs> but it's actually an okay shape. second picture. I've been setting a lot of the family photos and stuff off to the side. Unfortunately, there's been quite a few that have just been moldy and uh, haven't been able to save because there was nothing left of them. All right, I'm going to keep this uh, momentum going and hopefully I can clear a path to that deep freeze that's over there because uh, there's some other larger debris that needs to go in that area. suction cup based something <laughs> so we got paper there's something in it a little bowl a little pyrex bowl yep that's pyrex all right you know eventually i'm going to find that whole set throughout this house piece by piece i'm going to set this on this chair kind of out of the way so it doesn't get broken and i'm having to walk very gingerly because there's all sorts of stuff all over the ground. Barbecue set. All right. I've been making a few trips. Yeah. 
I can kind of uh, I can reach that light switch now. There we go. A little better. Let's see. Here's a box that was off the ground. So hopefully it will be okay. Some ornaments. Blue Mountain pottery vase. Get some things. A pair of sunglasses. Oh, that's cool. Toronto Maple Leaf Stanley Cup champion, 62-63. Now that's a good piece. <laughs> Boy, what was that? <laughs> the last time they won the Stanley Cup? Oh, I'm going to get some heat from the Toronto Maple Leafs fans about that. But uh, for a, a Toronto Maple Leafs, Leafs collector, something like that could be worth well over $100. Um, that is a very good lighter. In fact, I'm going to put that in my pocket. It's so good. I don't want to lose track of where I put it. Maybe there's some other good stuff in here too. Alberta Avenue Curling Club patch. Well, there's some neat stuff in this box. Some other old patches. Oh, there's a Shriners book. Parade to Glory, the story of the Shriners. Interesting. Know your fish. Oh, I see little. Oh, we got uh, cufflinks and buckles and a gold chain. Ah! Those look like they're silver. Okay. Finding a few things. Finding a couple things. The beach ball. What is that? Oh, it's just a little uh, thermometer. Compact. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a uh, space for the good stuff because uh, there's a fair bit of it in this box. Well, at the bottom of this box, woo, were several cameras. We got a little Kodak camera. Uh, we had an Agfa camera, which is a better 35 mil. This is a flash, don't know what this is, maybe a light meter or something, I'll find out. So that box, you know, amongst all this other trash, no, it's a, it's a brush. Made in England, real hide. It's probably actually a good brush. Um, that box contained a lot of decent stuff, so I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. Um, best thing, I think, is probably the, uh, the lighter and that one egg the camera in there. But I'll keep digging. Hopefully I can find a few more boxes like this down here. Here's a box marked dad and kind of know that the dad was at one time a doctor. Little containers. What's inside is the question. Is there anything in there? Empty little bottles. Oh, there's a pill in there still. Don't know what that is. Hmm. And then his business cards. Okay. Ideal applicators. Oh, it's like tongue depressors. Doctory type stuff. Glass slides for, I guess, looking at under a microscope. Bandages. Well, there are some uh, remnants of the doctor's office still kicking around. There usually is a glass syringe. That's kind of neat. Okay, well, some interesting stuff. Wait, is that a stethoscope in here? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, some of this stuff will be of interest to people who collect uh, medical paraphernalia and antique medical stuff. So I'll make sure to set this box aside too. Another little box here. Oh, look, we got watches. It's a Bolivar. Got a gold ring. And Westbury Automatic. Let's see if I can make it go. No dice, but there is a gold ring and a couple watches. That's pretty cool. 
And there's another little box here too. Let's see what that is. I'm just gonna set that aside. It's almost crusted shut. It's just a little razor. Uh, but kind of neat though, hey? Too bad it's got uh, mold and stuff. That'd be kind of a neat thing. Wow. Watches in a gold ring though. Motivation to keep on going. This particular house is really making me have to work for it. I'll go through a box that looks like this. And it looks like, you know, there's mouse droppings and little plastic containers and stuff. Twin pin. Well, somebody can probably use little knitting needles. You go through a box like this and then you find something like that, which is an eyeglass case. I'm going to open it up. And the thing about old eyeglasses like this is that oftentimes they're actually made of 9 carat or maybe 10 carat gold. Not much gold, but still, when you consider that's probably as much gold as a gold ring, it's worth uh, worth saving from the pile. I actually found a lot of glasses and odd stuff. There was a box full of, um, well, there's a little Scottish hat, probably for when they went curling, judging by the brooms attached to it, and a whole bunch of uh, brand new uh, 1960s or 70s men's shirts. Never used. Some are still in the plastic. And I guess this is a hat for somebody who delivered Admiral appliances. You'd have to wear this little chef's hat. <laughs> Ratatouille style. Um, but yeah, I, I can finally make my way almost all the way to the deep freeze here. And um, it's just such a mess. Such a hot mess. The stuff in this little tub was saved because it's in a little tub. So when the basement flooded, this stuff didn't get wet. What do we have? We got turtle wax. A brand new thing of Noxzema. $2.18. I'm guessing that's probably from the 60s or 70s. can't remember what year they brought in barcodes. I feel like it was late 60s. But it's actually all intact and still in there. It's a brand new unused 1960s Noxzema. We have these uh, bars of soap. Coolnish Wasser. And it's still all wrapped up in its paper. West Germany, so 1950s. Made in Cologne, West Germany. Still sealed in their boxes. And what fun, a bunch of marbles. So a few cool things in that bin. This box was still sealed. So I undid the tape on it to see what's inside. And we've got a, uh, well, it's one of those little gemstone globes, you know, where they, they kind of uh, do a mosaic of the earth with gemstones. That's pretty neat. Brand new. Nothing wrong with that. That's actually super cool. Look, progress. But look at this floor. Ugh. If you dropped an open face sandwich on this floor, you would not want to pick it up and eat it. I can tell you that much. Um, I am assuming that this stereo and speakers is trash because the bottom of the box is all wet or has been wet. I'm going to open it up and we'll see because maybe, just maybe, let's see. Well, actually, this, which looks like the uh, receiver, perhaps. Realistic receiver. Yeah, that's fine, actually. That, that didn't get wet. So, hooray me. Let's see what else is in the box. We got speakers. Oh, it's stuck to the bottom. And, yeah, darn this is definitely stuck. That's too bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. Matching speakers. Totally stuck to the bottom. Oh, gross. Yeah, I say it's fair to say the rest of this stuff is trash. 
unfortunately. All right, I was looking through a box. I believe these are the uh, lids for the Pyrex dishes that are upstairs in the kitchen. And that looks like the platter, the main platter for the uh, dinner set that's upstairs in the kitchen cupboard. So keep those aside. Found a whole pile of teacups and saucers. Actually something that's quite nice, quite ornate. There's a uh, little statue of a zebra. Oh darn, he's missing an ear. He's a half deaf zebra. Uh, oh, what did I say zebra? Gosh, I'm, I must be going crazy today. That's a giraffe. Goodness me. Um, but I am getting over. He's got a broken ear, so I'm not going to try and sell him. Uh, and I see something that I recognize. That's this. That's your good old-fashioned Firestone tire ashtray. See, there's the F for Firestone in the middle. That would have been like a promotional item from the... Uh, Firestone Company, so that's cool. There's also kind of a funky looking 70s ashtray in here. Unfortunately, it's been uh, cracked and put back together. That would have been sort of an interesting piece, really. Can't win them all. Oh, look. That used to go in there? I don't know. Probably not. Don't know what that's from. Hold the box up from around the corner. I'm going through and I start finding silver forks and knives and rolls of silver forks and knives. And look, the whole bottom of this box is filled with uh, silver cutlery. One roll, two rolls, three rolls, four rolls. And this is antique stuff. Um, it's very possible that there are some authentic silver pieces in here. Either way, I'm not gonna leave that behind, leave that to chance. So at some point, this box would have been a little bit more precious to, to whoever stashed it here, to the person that stashed it here. There's another thing, a clip-on sunglasses and more clip-on sunglasses. I feel like I'm excavating like a dump site and I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm saying that because, well, well, look, you know, like the water has gotten to it and it's all nasty now, but it wasn't always garbage, right? There's a silver mirror, beveled glass. Glass is about to pop out, put that aside. And fountain pen. And that's a ballpoint pen, but one fountain pen here anyway, which is kind of nice. So might be getting to some better things in this area. All this stuff in the room that I've been going through and all I have are the couple boxes on top of that freezer so far of what I think is good stuff. But we'll keep on digging. I've moved upstairs just temporarily because frankly, I'm going a little crazy in the basement there. Uh, and I'm starting to clear out the upstairs hall closet. There's lots of old vacuum bits and pieces and I don't know what that is. Gosh, what is that? Like a giant mouse nest down there or something? I'm gonna move this out of the way. Oh, it's all moving all together. Oh my goodness. It's what's left of a mop. Hmm, well, there's floor down there. They're cleaning out the top. Oddly, old tins like this. That's kind of neat, actually. Um, I can sell those. People will collect those, and they're still full of stuff. So um, newer things, like this unopened Murphy's oil soap that, that's in there, still usable. But those are actually kind of collectible. Okay, time to get back down to the basement. I've been holding off on this because it's locked and surprisingly, no key. And if you're wondering, hey Alex, did you try the key that was hanging on the wall in here? That little key over there? Yeah, I did, it didn't work. Um, so since this likely has little to no resale value and I own it now, I'm gonna open it the old fashioned way. Well, I don't know if that's the old fashioned way. I'm gonna open it the caveman way 
and uh, see what's in there. Maybe something, maybe nothing. Okay, I got it popped open. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. What's this? Something in it. And we have nothing. Oh, well, we got a little bit of jewelry. And anything underneath this little ring wrist? Yeah, okay. Well, some jewelry. A little wristwatch. I'll set that aside. And there's another. Oh, that just looks like it's paperwork from the doctor's office. But still, it's probably important at one time. We did find some jewelry in the lockbox, so that's kind of good. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, the dumpster is full. I've called for it to get uh, taken away. Sadly, though, I still have lots of garbage, which means I'm going to need another dumpster, and that means more expense, but it's par for the course. I think one more dumpster ought to do it, but they won't be back until after the weekend. So um, I can spend some time sorting. I've got some donations to make, and uh, we'll be back again to sort through. I still have to go through that bedroom over there. I, there's still lots of stuff, actually, for me to explore. Um, and I'm not done with the garbage. I was really hoping I would be by the end of this episode, but it didn't happen. Uh, but guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you have not already. Um, we'll be posting the update uh, soon. But uh, for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'm going to get back to work uh, very soon. So stay tuned for more episodes, guys. We'll see you soon and bye for now.